You're loving this. And I, always I can tell. And I always when you right, excited. and as soon as you get that move on and you get him stunned, take off. I would take off. I would take off, I call the cops there. and say there's a there's a mugger on the floor with a broken ball or something. Yeah. Broken nuts. Okay, watch. Turn to the side. Strike. Boom. Into the toes. That starts to loosen up. She brings her head back. I'm not there. That's fine. She starts to run back, kick, and run. Perfect. Get that? Simple. That's sick. Yeah, That's sick. yeah I like so that. So says Janelle Felton. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's sick. So again, it, it works off the same principle. Mm -hmm. Instead of worrying about the grab, she immediately goes to the to the openings, changes the angle. Strikes the groin, strikes the uh, the toes, goes into the head, and runs back. Okay, let's do uh, one more one, one more like this. So we're facing each other. This could happen from the front. Now the person picks you up from the front. This happens to guys that get tackled. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, say we're yeah. Say we're that that's happening. Some there's a big rumble. People are just tackling each other. Mm -hmm. For girls, the question I get a lot of times when I teach is, what happens if someone picks you up and carries you? Oh, and it's actually one. happened. It's happened to one of my students before. Um, your arms get pinned, right? So this is a very basic technique. First thing you have to do is she has to, with her arms pinned, she has to reach up and grab back whatever she can get hold of on the person. There's a re good reason for that, right? So if I pin your arms like this, you have to grab, yeah, hold on tight now. If you have a shirt or whatever, okay? If you want to even hold on to the shirt. Whatever you can grab a hold of, hold on. And you'll see why, okay? So grab. Now, once again, because of the way the human body works, for someone to grab her, let me stand right here one second, thanks. For someone to grab her, their head would have to turn to one side or the other. It's either like this, yes. yeah. or it's like this. It's never like this. No. <laughs> Impossible yeah. to grab, right? So head turns to one side. She holds on, this is important, you'll see why, okay? As she holds on, is because I'm exposing my neck, right? Mm -hmm. She takes a giant bite right there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. I could even be lifting her up. She holds on, the neck is exposed, and she just takes a bite. I mean, this is your life is in danger. Well, yeah, at this point, you know, you know, people might people at home might be like, whoa, bite, but your life is in danger. Your body, you don't know what's gonna happen. He's gonna, gonna rape you, rape attack you, you, kill you. Kill you. Right? So this is where that what I was talking about, the mentality, we'll talk a little bit before we end on the mentality part of it. She takes a giant bite. Now, why is she holding on? Because if she didn't hold on, let's say I just grab her and I'm taking her and she bites, I feel the, I feel the teeth, the guy will let go and now he knows she can bite. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, if uh, she's holding on and she bites and I let go, she's holding on, she continues, yeah, then she can let go when she wants and kick into the groin. So she could also bite the neck and also bite the ear. Bite the ear, bite the neck, Tyson. knee into the groin. Say what? Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson yeah. status. So but, okay, so let's check that one again. Okay, so, let's do it. so we're here, right? Grab, she grabs back, she starts the bite, she can also knee into the groin, Ooh. okay? Anytime there's the bite is there, you take the bite. But again, because people learn very quickly in self-defense situations because you're so heightened on your awareness, right? Now he knows you can bite him. So you've just lost your last card. Mm -hmm. That's why you hold on, you gotta make that count. You gotta make it count, count, count. He lets go, you gotta make sure you've damaged him enough where he's in this position and not like, oh yeah. now he's really gonna get you kind of a thing, yeah. right? All of these are real self-defense, like, like final choice, you're, you're, you're decapitating, or decapitating, you're, you're, <laughs> you're <laughs> stop! <laughs> basically you're, you're eliminating your enemy to the point. You, you can't, he can't move or breathe or, or mobility, breathing or eyesight or is, is what's taken away, right? Okay, yeah. We haven't done anything with eyesight yet, but I think we're just gonna save that for another yeah, time. Yeah, we're gonna save that for, cause you, this is, you're gonna get more and more and more of uh, Arash's training. Cause he wants to help out, you know, everybody out here. So, um, what, what would be a good way of now they're watching this at yeah. home? So, would you recommend them actually practicing these moves? Of course. Because you have to get it's it's muscle uh, muscle memory, right? Yeah. So you, doing these moves, I mean, because it's easy just to to say it, mm -hmm. but if you don't practice it, then you're gonna be stunned, right? Well, there should be a few things understood. One is uh, when you're dealing with a criminal, that mentality is different. That person is there to hurt you. And a lot of times you have good people who are like, oh, like you know, when we do this technique, if there is a criminal, they have a different feeling. Like, ah, oh. they have a, it's a whole different mentality. I've seen it, yeah. right? And good people, oh no, because you don't want to hurt people. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times people think if I'm nice to the criminal, he might let me get away. No, no, he wants you to be quiet, be nice, be submissive, be hurt, be injured, because that's what he's there to do. He's there to attack. They think in different terms. What will bring about your survival is to demonstrate to him 
that you being a target is going to cost him a lot more than somebody else. Right. You see the difference? Right. You are going to hit back. You are going to injure him. You are going to yell, scream. He might go to jail, while somebody else will be quiet, won't say anything, and will be a good victim. Yeah. They're looking for victims. So the mentality is, how do you not become a victim, right? Okay, so um, you were asking about practice. Yeah. yeah. If you've ever had a dream where you're in your dream, you, you're frozen, and there, or maybe you were even scared in real life, and you were frozen. Yeah. Your body reacts by freezing deer in a headlight. Oh, okay. You have to make sure you train your body so that the, even, you know, for me even, I've seen it at times where it, it's very minute, but there's a split second freak out of the body. Yeah. And then I kick it right in. Boom. It's almost like a new program has been downloaded. Yeah. Right? You have the old program which says, okay, okay, panic. What am I supposed to do? And then through practice, that kicks in and then the default program kicks in. Boom. Survival mode. Right. That's what every fighter has to do. Nobody likes to get in the ring and get punched and kicked. No. But through practice, they take that energy, that nervousness, that fear, and now they have a new program. Boom. That creates energy. Now I'm ready to go. Now I know what to do about it. And right? that nervous energy and that fear, that, that, that animal instinct is programmed into us. Mm -hmm. So it's there for us to actually, if in need of danger, to pull it out. It can be. It has to be practiced because we're taught from a young age to not hit back people who are older, bigger, stronger than us. So a family member shows up, Uncle, Uncle Creeper, and Uncle Creeper's trying to you know, sm smooch on you and kiss you, and you're like, ah, get away from me, and you start clawing him, and hey, that's your uncle, you be nice to him. You know? Or you, know, you can't hit back, you, you're taught not to hit back. If you ever raise your hand on your, uh, on your parent or your uncle, you're punished severely as a child. Yeah. So we're taught as a young kid, if there's somebody older, bigger, and more aggressive than you, do not hit back, freeze. This is something that's been programmed us since childhood. Now you get to a point where you got a female and the guy's normally bigger, no skinnier, scrawnier guy is gonna be picking on her. That's ri ridiculous, yeah, right? right? A bigger guy is gonna be attacking her. She's programmed through time to freeze and allow it to happen because from childhood, that's what we were told. You get into class, you start training, and you start realizing, no, 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 no. That old programming was good when you were four, it ain't good when you're, you know, 25 and you're out on a date and the dude decides to attack you. Yeah, right. Exactly. Because mm -hmm. you never know. I mean, especially now with this whole, like, uh, this whole social networking, you might meet someone on the net and you think they're like the coolest thing, but then yeah. you go out to, to with them in public and you know they're a totally different person. It's happened, man. I have enough students where it, it happens. There's a lot of my students have been attacked, and every single one of them, knock on wood, wherever the hell it is, uh, <laughs> it's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not they've here. been safe. <laughs> no, seriously, it does happen. It's a, it's, it's an issue. You know, any girl, uh, any girl that I know, at, at least either them or they know somebody else who's been attacked or has yes. been in that situation. Do you know anybody who's been attacked? Absolutely, absolutely, right here. Okay, so it's, it's a, it's a real reality. Okay, it is. now the final thing I want to talk about is just that instinct you touched upon. We were given these instincts through evolution to trust ourselves, right? There's a reason why you're walking to the ATM and it feels wrong. Right. There's a reason for that. You picked up on something. It could be a smell in the air. It could be a, a movement. It could be a, a sound. It's time to pay attention to your instincts and not just, oh, it's okay. Or, you know, you're, you're, you're shopping and there's a guy over there and he gives you the creeps because he's creepy. <laughs> That's the end of it. You know, I always tell my friend, no, you know why? Because he's creepy. Done. Done. That's the end of it. You, you better listen to your instinct now then pay for it later. If he's not creepy, okay, good. He'll have to go through the actions he goes through to show you who he is. Yeah. But if you're getting that warning sign, like something is off, well, guess what? Something is off because every single person who's ever been attacked and would survive and they talked to him, there was some point where they were like, you know what? I knew there was something off. I just felt it and I told myself it's okay. Or so-and-so said he's okay. Or so, no, 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 it's not okay. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Done. That's okay. that's good. Thank you, you very much. Go with your instinct. That's I a rush. The greatest thing that happened to this planet in a long time. And he's going to be doing some more, and you're going to keep watching because it's our TV, your TV, and thanks to all you guys out here that are helping. And if you want to come and get involved, come and check us out, www.createtvsj.org, 408-295-8815. Thanks again. Thank you, Janelle. Thank you, Janelle. Yeah. Okay. Have a good day. <laughs>